Welcome back to Todd Family Farm. So today we've got a little bit of a different style video for you guys today. A little bit of a slower video, but hope you guys enjoy it. This is a pretty uh, cool little gadget that we got sent and wanted to share with you guys. So uh, you, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you tell my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because we've been sick lately. Um, I'm still, I'm pretty much over it, but still getting back to normal. So um, I've been taking it a little bit easier on getting videos out, but now that I'm feeling better and We've been getting busier outside. I hope to get quite a few more videos out soon. So, hope you guys look forward to that and hope you enjoy the video. And here you go. We're going to show you this laser now. Uh, we were contacted. I guess that's a perk of being a little bit of a bigger channel. It's also a burden because we're getting quite a few offers and a lot of it's junk and some of it is just uh, what we've already done. So, we don't take every offer, but this thing's cool. This is a laser engraver. This thing excels at engraving. I mean, it, it's just engraving wood and, and it, it's spot on. We uh, cut, it cuts. So you can see we cut out some vinyl stickers and we now have this. So it'll cut vinyl, you can make stickers and that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna kind of take you up quick and dirty real fast. And I'll grab the camera here. We did, I did have to put this together. Uh, and they contacted us and said, hey, you want to try out a laser? And so I said, okay. So I've been at this for like four or five hours here, learning, the so learning this. You need light burn. Uh, you get a 30-day trial. Uh, that's what I uh, started with. So I think it's like $60 after that. So I don't know if we will continue with light burn. Or what, they have a free one, open source, called, called like Laser Gerbil or something. And um, I'm sure that will work. Uh, I'm really liking Lightburn software. So if you have a laser, you're just going to, and you're new to it, and then you, you throw this thing together and uh, start out kind of with Lightburn because it's user friendly. And if you want to let the 30 day trial run out, then uh, uh, switch over to Laser Gerbil. So there are in depth assembly videos. It, it, this is not real difficult. Uh, uh, it comes in just this box right there. Not a real big box. And uh, these four rails here are individual, so you just have to lay it out. Uh, the the plugins will be here. This will be here. The they sent this USB drive. It would not connect to anything. So <clears throat> there's that's probably got a uh, laser gerbil on it. I don't know. Uh, it might have some other one, but I just I just went ahead and dealt with uh, Lightburn. They also sent me uh, Air Assist, so you may not have this tube running in, and they sent me a honeycomb mat. And that just gets you up off the table, and it diffuses any heat that might be. It's just like a radiator for heat. This is the guard. I don't recommend taking it off. I did, but uh, I was trying to do tags over there and we're going to show you that and did some kind of funky experiments with that but this right here is how you set your depth that's you're supposed to run this down and uh to where that bumps and then you have your your laser focused so you see that how that and then you just flip that back up normally it's attached there well i took it off because i wanted to do tags and i added the air thing and what the air assist does the air assist takes and blow, keeps the project kind of cool and blows any frass away so it's a sharper cut, cleaner cut. So they sent me the air compressor and it's just really simple. It's just a variable output here and just a tube of air that you come down and then it has this nozzle that you add on. And they, there's a bracket, but it doesn't work with this laser. This bracket doesn't work. So I didn't even install that bracket. I think this air thing is better for wood. When I'm cutting uh, engraving or cutting vinyl, I really don't think it helps all that much. But we have this. I just tied this up right here and taped this here. And then it can go anywhere. But that's just air coming through and focusing down on the laser. So I installed that tip there. That's quick and dirty with how to install it. If your laser doesn't work, just take and you have to turn this knob that way and let it pop back up. It boots up and it's ready to go. I've got mine set up. It automatically homes, figures out where it's at, 
The laser switches touches, turns it off, now it knows exactly where it's at. So like I say, this thing excels. If you just want to see laser engraving videos, there's plenty of places. There's the tag for flossy. Now that is just melted in there. And this is just the ear tag. It'll never rub off. The problem is it's not super high visibility. They have engravable tags that would probably be better. But this is not super high visibility, but it's just a novelty thing for us right now. Uh, if you wanted something that was very, very permanent, this is going to be very, very permanent. Never will this rub off. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make us some tags that are going to be for the garden. We're going to take these and uh, Jill has what would be nice for us to label in the garden. So when we plant stuff by seed and it's not coming up so well, uh, we've made maps and we've laid it out, but I thought we, it'd be nice if we had permanent uh, row tags for all our different lettuce and carrots and radish and garlic and green beans and, and pinto beans and stuff we do every single year that we kind of rely on. Um, we're going to label those a little bit better. So that's what we're going to lay out. And again, I was very naughty. I took the guard off and uh, that's very shouldn't do that but I did it uh, the handy thing is <laughs> these green goggles that they send you are kind of flimsy uh, I wouldn't look at the laser that way but if you take and you look at the laser through this like that you can look at the laser while it's going so instead of buying the $50 or $70 goggles to look at my laser I actually I have it off and then I look at the laser through that so uh, I doubt Anybody's going to recommend that, and Dakota's going to recommend that, but uh, that's what I did. <laughs> so I'm going to set this up. I'll show you kind of what speed I'm running on here after I get it set up, and we'll engrave some tags. Okay, it's engraving one right now. I'll show you. Just watch me get, do this. So I'm engraving at 2,000 speed, 100% power. So. Uh, and that's what it comes out as. This one kind of barely fit on there. Uh, I'm, and then all I have to do is, I know where it's at, so then all I have to do is come right here and uh, click right here. And just delete that. So me pose. Place one here. And hit start. And that's going. I did corn, cucumbers, beets, turnip grains, pinto beans, green beans, garlic, potatoes, radish, and lettuce, and carrots. And that's usually something we have in our garden. And lastly, tomatoes. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, but... Maybe we'll be using this more. I suppose if anybody wanted us to cut them out something or engrave them some ear tags, we'd do that for you. Just let us know. Uh, but it's a neat, neat gadget. We're, we're replacing a piano bench top, and I, I got a piece of oak that I'm going to cut and sand down, and we might engrave something in that. But right now, uh, that's it. And that's it in a nutshell. I don't want to overwhelm you. If anybody has any questions about it, uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, our uh, piano bench, the upholstery was ripping off and it was just particle board underneath. So we took this piece of oak and uh, made this with the laser. Okay, we're going to engrave these knives now because uh, every good farm kid needs a knife. So I'm running this. I'm engraving at 100% power and uh, 150 speed. I did a real fast cut at uh, 1500. So I'm just going to bring my knife right over here and set down. And then hit start. Don't look at the laser. And it is engraved. We have Caroline. Okay. Yep.
And then we did... Uh, we're gonna put this tag on Flossie. It's just a little name tag and she already, you might be able to see from there, she already has a hole in her ear, so we're not hurting her. But uh, lots of times when they're tagged as calves, it's not a real big deal. Tagging a, a grown cow, you know, it's a little bit tougher on them when you tag them grown, but it's, uh, it's cartilage and you tag them in the ear because it's really pretty harmless. And so we're going to see if we can't go put this right in that hole that's there and she'll have her personalized name tag. There we go. You can see it. Can you see everything? Mm -hmm. All right, there is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit simpler, a little bit slower, a slower video today, but I ha should have a fun video coming out tomorrow, hopefully. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And if you're interested in any of the stuff in this video, the laser or air assist or like honeycomb mat, uh, the links will be down below the video um, if you're interested in any of that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next time.